In today's video, we're going to the Smoky Mountain Brewery. You can see it in the back here of Lumberjack Square, right next to the Forge Cinemas. So we're gonna go get some pizzas as a family. We're gonna walk you through the menu and tell you what we think of what we order here at the Smoky Mountain Brewery. So as you go in, you'll see over here, they have some micro-brewed beer to go. And obviously you can order any of these at your table if you eat there. You can get a bottle or you can even get like a mini keg to go. Now they don't take reservations or call ahead seating. So we came up, I think they said our wait time was about 30 minutes. So we took advantage of that time and walked around the Lumberjack Square, checking out some of the candy stores. We enjoyed going into this art gallery here. They always have some really nice artwork to check out while we were waiting for our table. So if you have to wait, there certainly is plenty of things to go walk around and look at while you're waiting for your table. They also have this Smoky Mountain Popcorn Company along with another gift shop and a sports card shop if you wanna try to find yourself a Tom Brady rookie card or... That's all you. <laughs> <laughs> so they have this Lumberjack show, which we have done. It's a lot of fun. So if you're coming here, you could get a pizza beforehand or afterward. Great little fun show for the family. So finally, we did get a notification via text that our table was ready. It was only about 20 minute wait time. So again, this is a brewery where they brew their own beer in here. And they have some live music from time to time. They weren't playing when we were there, but you can come in here listen to some live music, and they have lots of TVs. So this place is great if you're looking to watch a Saturday college game or on Sundays to watch some NFL football. Yeah, and you have pizza and beer to go with it. What's better than that? <laughs> so we're going to show you the menu here. We sat in a booth and we had great service and I had a great time here at the Smoky Mountain Brewery. So let's take a moment here and check out what's available on the menu. So they have lots of snacks and appetizers and we actually ordered some Thunder Road shrimp. Yeah, we, we love the Bang Bang Shrimp at Bonefish Grill, so we had to try these out. They also had some brewery nachos. We might have to go back and try those out. Oh, I think we will. They have a lot of really good looking appetizers here. Onion rings, fried pickles, some... Uh, Artichoke dip. Ooh, lots of good stuff for appetizers. Let's also check out the brewery sandwiches and subs. They've got a Philly cheese steak. You can get a veggie or chicken. Meatball grinder, Reuben. You can get a yellowfin tuna grilled sandwich. And then checking out the burgers. We didn't get a burger, but someone at the art gallery who works there says, I love to go over there and get their hamburgers. They definitely have some really good looking burgers. The Old Smoky Burger with cheddar, bacon, and barbecue sauce. And the Brew House Burger kind of looks like a take on the Big Mac as well as the awesome avocado plant-based burger for all of you vegetarians out there. I think I want to come back and try the brew house burger. Kind of makes me think of an In-N-Out burger with that Thousand Island dressing sauce. Now that we've looked at burgers, a brew house wouldn't be complete without wings. Yes, so you can get their original wet wings, you can get the boneless wings or the naked wings. And as you can see, there are plenty of different flavors to put on your wings. I'd love to do a side-by-side -side of them and the Blue Moose down the road to see how they are like. They also have some pasta and sides. So you can get some potato salad, fresh broccoli with beer cheese. Everything's better with beer cheese on it. Absolutely. <laughs> Tater tots, mac and cheese, fries, spinach, or mashed potatoes. But pizza is what we are here for. You can see you can get a plain cheese or add some toppings to it. That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna get a 12 inch cheese pizza and add half pepperoni. We're also gonna try the Baker's Choice. 
pizza. Which has pepperoni, mushrooms, onions, sausage, and green peppers. And you can see they have some other specialty pizzas. The Brewmaster, the white pizza, veggie, buffalo chicken, margarita. The T-Rex apparently is very popular because it has a lot of different meats on it. So that may be one you want to try. So we'll show you the pizzas that we order here in just a moment. They also have some other brewery entrees, chicken tenders, skewer platters, steak and chicken combos, a filet, and a ribeye steak. And you can add a salad to anything, or you can make a salad your entree. So they have a tossed salad, Caesar salad, or a club salad, oriental chicken salad, or even a portobello mushroom salad. They also have some key lime pie and daily cheesecake selection for $7.75 for dessert. Now here's a quick look at the kids menu. They get their option of grilled cheese, hamburger, cheeseburger, chicken tenders, fried shrimp, or even steak, spaghetti and marinara sauce, meat sauce, or they can just get a salad. And you can see the prices are pretty good, anywhere from four to six to eight, depending on what they get. If they just want a salad, it's only $2.50. So our kids are just gonna enjoy some pizza with us. But again, we started off with the... Shrimp. What it was it called? <laughs> I wanna say bang bang shrimp, but it's not bang bang shrimp. It is a spicy type fried shrimp. I don't think it was too spicy, do you? No, it wasn't too spicy. It was just very flavorful and really quite good. So we thank God for our food and Micah was starving because we were at Anakista for a while and everyone was starving. So he hopped right in. We enjoyed that. I thought they were pretty good and the french fries yep. were gone. The kids ate those up and our pizza came. This was the baker's choice. It was just full of toppings and delicious cheese. I really enjoyed it. It was a very well done pizza. I enjoyed it as well. Lots of great flavor. And here was the standard cheese pizza where we asked them to put pepperoni on half of it so we got one topping. This was also delicious. Honestly, both of them were so good. I think any pizza you get there is gonna be delicious. So we were all starving and dug into our pizza, which was, I thought, fantastic. The kids enjoyed it. Micah had a slice of pizza on the side of his uh, cheese. <laughs> yes, a little pizza with his cheese. <laughs> <laughs> so the kids all enjoyed having dinner together as a family out in Pigeon Forge at the Smoky Mountain Brewery. Everything was great. The service was great. Service was excellent and the food was excellent, so I would give it a thumbs up and highly recommend it. I would too, there's definitely lots to try here. They also have a Gatlinburg location as well, so I asked everybody which pizza was your favorite, and Micah said the Baker's Choice. Bree said the classic cheese was a really good pizza. There's lots more in the menu, we definitely wanna go back and try, but let us know in the comments, have you ever been here? What is your favorite thing on the menu? And feel free to subscribe for more adventures here in the Great Smoky Mountains and beyond. We'll see you guys on the next adventure.